The Rotary Club of St. Lucia, on its 57th anniversary, continues to display acts of generosity, this time in partnership with the Sister Club of Martinique. Officials from the two humanitarian organizations on Friday, 27th October, met for the formal handing over of supplies to the Ministry of Health. Immediate past president of the Rotary Club of La Mater, Ludovic Clozel, says the act of generosity embodies collective commitment to improving the well-being of people around the world. On behalf of our Rotary Club of La Mantin, I'm delighted to announce that we are donating two pallets of antigen tests and a pallet of self-tests, vital tools in the fight against disease. In addition, we provide 20 cartons of toothpaste and anti-irritation cream. Our contribution also includes 1,000 surgical gloves, 200 scratches, three patient transfer. And whilst the Rotary Club of St. Lucia facilitated the venture, they expressed much gratitude to all partners in making the donations possible. According to President Everton Seeley, a few key contributors were needed to ensure a smooth process. Most recently, our partnership with the Ministry of Health and the Montero Medical Mission bears testimony to such um, our hard work and our efforts. So on behalf of the Rotary Club of St. Lucia, I want to say thank you to our friends from Lamate. Thank you to the Ministry of Health for the work that you did in ensuring that those, these goods landed here safely. I want to say also thank you to the consulate in Martinique. I know there was a lot of work done behind the scenes to ensure that you know, the customs duties and the trade barriers be surmounted. So thank you so much. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma george is optimistic that the donations will strengthen government-funded health initiatives. We try as much as possible to provide subsidized care within our wellness centers. The care is given free of charge to the public within the communities. So we do have a medical assistance program as well, which functions well. We will ensure that the supplies are well utilized within our various communities. Permanent Secretary Ms. Jenny Daniel was on hand to express the gratitude of the Ministry of Health and by extension the people of St. Lucia for the Selfless Act. Ms. Daniel says the donation will assist in the replenishment process following the two-year global COVID crisis. A lot of our, our supplies have become depleted. We know, you know the situation um, put in into our medical supplies in St. Lucia. And we're very, very thankful and appreciative of your recognition of the need to assist us. We want to pledge that those supplies will be put to the best possible use for the treatment and care and preventative care of our citizens within the country and to ensure that, of course, they do help to improve our national health profile and overall conditions of persons um, as it pertains to health. The value of the items sums up to a total of over 70,000 euros, which is equivalent to over 200,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars. For the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.